Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the Power Hobby SCX24 shock and turn it into an oil filled shock. I'll show you an example here too. I have the two rears mounted. So some of the things you're going to need, uh, shock oil, um, I do recommend, although this is not needed. Uh, if you have green slime, you might as well use it. Um, these are going to lubricate the O-rings that you're also going to need. You can see them on camera here, five millimeter and a three millimeter. I'll get you the exact measurements in the description. Those are going to be going into our shock assembly here. All right, let's get started. So first you want to unscrew the top cap. Then we're going to use our 1.5 millimeter hex driver to unscrew and remove the spring and the shock shaft. Then, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a white bushing at the end of the shock. So we're gonna remove that. So just gently remove that. There you go. Don't lose that, it's very tiny. We're gonna need that. So here, now we're gonna take our green slime, open that up. We're gonna place our little three millimeter O-ring in that, get it nice and coated. And then we're gonna just place that here for a second, right at the cap, like that. And then what I like to do is place the screw back in there. So that'll kind of help me guide so there you can see, we've got the washer on the bottom and we've got the uh, white bushing on top. So here you can figure out, I mean, there's many ways um, of popping this in. Uh, I just happen to have one of these handy leather punchers and I'm just using one of the pieces there, one of the attachment pieces, just to help seat it down. Um, Earlier I was using, as you noticed, uh, my tweezers and that was working fine as well. So once that's seated down, um, go ahead and check, see. Now here, it seems perfect in my case. Um, the screw is moving down and up uh, freely. Um, of course, there's some friction, much more than there was before but uh, it's still rather free. There are some cases that you'll notice that it's gonna be maybe a little hard or jumpy. Uh, in that case, I would just remove the screw, uh, leaving the white bushing and the boring inside. And I would use a sharp tool and just kind of push the way around, uh, pushing the gap in the hole making sure that everything around is seated as well. Sometimes when that's not seated well, you'll, you'll get that effect. All right, so next, we wanna put in our 1.5 millimeter hex driver and screw back our shock back together. You can see, so now, also notice here's a little bit of friction, not popping out quite nicely. Again, this, you could go I could unscrew all this and put this in there and just kind of uh, wiggle the way through to open that up. Once you add the oil, it'll also uh, have less friction. So now, just like any other shock shock build that you do, when we start putting in the oil, I'm gonna put in like a drop or two. And then again, like any other shock build, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slowly move the shaft up and down, letting all the oil down and all the bubbles out and add a few more. Kind of averaged out maybe three or four drops really as the bubbles coming out almost doing well. So I'm just going to set that aside for a second and let the bubbles flow out while in this time I'm going to go ahead and grab the other O-ring going to go on the top and get that lubricated nicely all right and that just sits right 
at the top of the shock cap. All right, once that's in there, go ahead and grab our shock back, make sure that all the oil went down. One last check there. Slowly, just gonna top it off. Hopefully that won't be too much. Okay, that looks good. And now, just gonna screw the cap back on. And try to screw it as tight as possible there. All right, let's do a little test. All right. And look at that. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, hope you like this video. Subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.